Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Jim Coppinger with Zentech Consultants, and today we're going to be doing a little uh, little talking about our Zentech review tools for exterior takeoffs, and thank you guys for joining us. So let's go ahead and jump on in. So for those of you who haven't worked with us before, we're Zentech Consultants, and we are a premier Bluebeam sales partner. Uh, we're here to provide you guys with not just software sales, but technical support, training, um, configuration, customization, and we even develop and distribute our own uh, Bluebeam based tools, which is what we're here to talk about today. So we hope you guys will hit our website, see all the different features and functions that we have in, in store for you. So let's start off by talking about what are Zentech review tools, right? So Zentech review tools are industry and trade specific tools, tools that install inside of your Bluebeam software, right? Uh, in other words, you have Bluebeam software, they're predefined tool palettes that you can install. Right, and put in place and you can distribute them company wide so that everybody in your company has access to the same set of tools and you can get consistent, reliable output on every single one of your projects. Right? In other words, you don't want, you know, one person taking things off one way and using, you know, yellow polka dots for, uh, you know, roofing areas and somebody else is using green checkers right? it, it it becomes really difficult when you're opening up and reviewing and looking at and trying to get some kind of a fast reliable repeatable and consistent output structure in your takeoffs to you know make sure that everybody's using the same set of predefined tools it also simplifies the fact that you know people don't have to you know remember where to go and what settings and what values you can pre-build all of that and that's what we've done with our zentech review tools right now, the thing to keep in mind is that Zentech Review Tools are an add-on package for Bluebeam. They can be purchased only through Zentech Consultants. They are not part of the Bluebeam uh, suite, something we've developed on our own. Okay, so what is the Zentech Review Tools exterior set about? Right? We do have several sets, but the exterior set is particularly for people who are working exterior work, uh, you know, roofing, trim, siding, doors, windows. Right. They're really focused on all of that exterior work that very often kind of gets discounted and forgotten in some of the other uh, detailed estimating systems. So, you know, we've developed a, a nice set of seven tool palettes with over 50 independent tools that you can use to really simplify, modify and, and really you know, just speed up and optimize your takeoff process for all your exterior work. Right. It'll help you really finally get the productivity and the savings that you were hoping for when you first purchased your Bluebeam review software, right? Um, and, and we really hope that you guys will like these. So with that said, let's go ahead and do a demo. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump over here. I'm just gonna walk you real quickly through the this Zentech review tools. So you'll see over here that I've already got my uh, Zentech review tools exteriors loaded and I've got my tool chests up, right? And like I said, here are the pallets that come with it. And you can see we've got a demolition set, right? And we'll go through all of these tools in a minute. We have a door set. Right, general finishes, exteriors, right? Um, wall openings for exteriors, some roofing conditions, basic trim, okay, as well as some you know uh, exterior window structures and counting. So the idea behind each of these tools is that all of your features, all of your settings that you're going to work with, are already predefined, so that when your users come in, they simply open up Bluebeam, right? It comes with a profile. They can just go into their profiles and they can set the uh, Zentech Tools exteriors pro profile to be active and they're all set to go all the tools that they need everything that they want to work with will be right here on the side panel form they just have to expand out their tool chest so let's go in and take a look at some of the the basic tools and how we have them structured so for starters right there's always demolition work right? there's no way around it you know in, in this day and age all of us are doing some kind of a rehab job um so we've got standard structure set in here for you know demolition areas lines volumes and just kind of expand that out a little bit more um so we can see that a little bit better, right? And the way that these are structured to work, so let's say, for example, that, uh, you know, within your building, right, we're just going to go up here into, into this area and say that there's a uh, an area of, you know, uh, VCT flooring that needs to be pulled out. So I can, you know, rather than having your your uh, estimators go in and run to, you know, the tools and areas and set properties and type in descriptions, they can just come right over here and just go right to the demolition area, click the tool. And just like this, just start taking their, their demolition. I know I'm doing kind of an interior structure right here for an exterior tool, right? But the concept is the same. It doesn't matter where you're going, whether it's interior or exterior with the demolition, right? And then what I can do here is I can just very easily go either to the properties tab or to the markups list, either one, 
And you see it comes up with this concept of demo description. So you can just put in whatever it is you're, you're, you're going to demo. And it gives you your square footage, and it's already hatched in, structured, all set for you to go. Right? I can do the same thing with demolition lines. So again, maybe what we have to do is we have to strip the exterior facade. I mean, we got some brick facade you know, from here wrapping around that we've got to get rid of. Not a problem. I can just go in and say, okay, I'm going to go in. I'm going to you know, strip the facade. I'm just kind of sketching quickly around, right? all the way around from there to there to there. And we're going to end it right there. And you see it gives me a starting and any point, shows the arrows. It gives me each individual length, right? But it also gives me the whole structure, right? And again, I can go in here and go to the demo description on that and just say, hey, we're going to de you know, demolish, you know, four-inch brick face, right? And that's it, right? And the great thing is that all of these tools, everything we're doing is being coordinated and structured down in our Bluebeam markups list, right? Where we can sort by the subjects, the labels, all the different items, Right? It's giving us the area counts, the length counts, the volume counts, all the, the tools that we need right? so that we can go ahead and we can extract all of these out to Excel or PDF, however we want to, for our final cost estimates. Right? So again, we've got uh, individual objects <clears throat> that we can work with. So if I wanted to get rid of, uh, you know, let's go in here and say, hey, we need to pull you know, the exterior, exterior column covers. Right? I can just go in and say, look, we need to kill that column cover. And you see, I can just go in and drop and get rid of that one that one and that one right and you see that's a group they're all come in as a group count right and i can just go in you know exterior column covers my typing is not all that good right so i can go in and, and do my exterior column covers and you can see if i go to my markups list see i'm getting my counts right four exterior column covers right and i can always go in using all basic bluebeam review tools and structures i can easily go in and continue the count resume the count so if i missed one Right, using the Zentech tools, I can just right click on it right, and just go ahead and say, hey, resume the count, add another one, and there you go. Now I've got five exterior demos of my column covers. Right, easy to do. Um, and each palette, you know, we've, we've also got volumes out here. So if you're going in and, and you need to uh, remove an exterior pad, right, I can easily go in, outline the pad, right, give it the same, you know, general description, right, demo. This one's set for, you know, six inch by default, but I can easily go in and you know, demo concrete pad. Right? And maybe it's an eight inch, right? And then I can go over right here to my measurement tab. And all I have to do is change that from a six inch to an eight inch. And there it is. I'm now actually calculating and then 578 cubic feet of uh, eight inch of demo for the concrete pad, eight inches deep. All right? And you see everything's coming in kind of, you know, visually different, easy to identify. All right? We even include a, a suggested Zentech tool. So if there's anything that you guys, you know, need or want, you can just go in here and your people can just click on this little icon here and they'll actually launch a, an email to Zentech for, you know, your recommendations and what else you'd like to see in each of these tool sets. So, <clears throat> you know, we've got plenty of other tools here. We have the our doors. So we're getting the same thing, right? If we're doing, you know, exterior doors, right? We're kind of, you know, counting off exterior doors or windows. I'll just do windows because it's, uh, and I, you know, stay with doors. Um, let's do commercial doors, right? And I can go and I can start counting off, you know, commercial doors. And I don't, of course, there we go. Here we go down here. All right, so I can go in next. Look, I got a, an exterior door there, and it coming in as just commercial doors. All right, and we'll pretend we have another one over here and another one over here. Right? And like anything else, it's just it's a group set. You go in and you can tie this to a door schedule. So this is door type A. Right? You see that those are now door type A, and it shows up for me right? inside of my to do list. So you can see commercial doors, right? door type A. I've got four door type A's. Right? And if I go in and do some other commercial doors, Right. And again, I'll just throw a couple of, you know, the, there's one here right? and I'll throw another one over here. Right? I can go ahead and take those and, you know, those are door type B. Right. So if I go into door type B and you can see that I'm already sorting and filtering. I know how many door type A's, door type B's, all of my information, everything that I need in terms of totals and structures. Right? I'm getting all of my counts, my summations, all of the tools and the features that I need, just pulling them straight from here. Right? I can even go in, I can do linear takeoff. I have got different, you know, bifold door, stack door, but I can even do linear takeoff of doors. If you're doing, um, you know, storefront type work and you want to do a linear structure and say, hey, you know what? I got door going from here to here, right? That's adding up, right? And I can just go ahead and say, okay, you know, there's my linear door, right? It's giving me my linear door. It's giving me my, my height, my wall area. So I can actually calculate the height if I need it, right? Or I can go in and I can take the depth out if I don't want a wall height. Right? And then I can just go ahead and give it a description, right? Whatever it is. Right now it says linear door. But if I want to call that, you know, a W7859, uh, whatever, 
uh, you know, storefront model ABC, right? Whatever I want to call it, right? I can change the labels to be whatever it is I need it to be because my total overall lengths and those will be additive based upon the label and the material. <clears throat> I've got my exterior finishes. So I'm going to jump over here to, um, I've got some elevation plan here. So these are just a basic elevation. Again, working exteriors, areas that very often get, you know, forgotten. Right. So if I want to go into something like this and say, hey, you know what, um, I need to do a takeoff here on, you know, some vinyl siding. Right. No problem. I go to my exterior finishes. Here's vinyl siding. It's a base area right? and I can just go in and I can very quickly drag it out. Right? You see it highlights it. There's my right now I'm at 386 square feet and then I can easily go into my um, my measurement tools and I can pull and I can use in conjunction with our tools the standard, you know, polygonal cutout. So if I need, you know, cut out for the windows so I can cut out the window here. And I'll cut out the window over there. Okay, and you see it made the update. Now I'm down to 351 square feet, right? And it labels it here. And I can adjust it. Right now it's just vinyl siding, but if I need to change the label to something more specific, I can. Okay, you know, same kind of thing. If I want to go in and I want to do, you know, take off for the, uh, right? I got some 16 inch CMU down here in my exterior finishes, right? I can just go in. Oops, sorry, I double clicked when I didn't mean to. Right, I'll delete that. Go to my 16 inch and I can just kind of, you know, lay this out. I can kind of sketch it around. If I've got an odd shape, if it's rectangular, it's easy enough to just do it. But here I'm going to kind of go to a little odd shape. See, puts in the CMU, calculates my square footage, my, you know, whatever I need. Okay, so I can very easily go in. Same thing, right? I can go in. I can do it with stucco, aluminum, brick, right? I can do, you know, lintels, lintel types, wood siding, right? All standard interiors. Right? I can also account for openings inside my building so let's say i had like a wall and let's say this was a restroom behind here right and i wanted to go in and i had to put in a uh you know a, a, a louver or a vent of some kind right? i can easily go in and place those in right i've got some general exterior stuff for you know fascia and soffit so let's just drop a vent here so i say i got a vent here and a vent here okay so i've got two vents in my house right and again i can give them specific names models types just by changing the label all right, or it can correspond to a schedule, but you know, this is vent type three. If I have a schedule already listed and I know I've got two vent type threes, okay. I can put in flue caps and so on. All right, I can go in and if I need to, you know, handle fascia and wrap column covers and, and other siding related type items, downspouts, gutters, corners, right? I can go in and handle all of those, right? So if I know how much fascia I have in here, right? Very easy to just go in and say, okay, we're running fascia from here all the way down to here, okay? And I can put in, see, it's what size fascia, right? I can go and say, that's, you know, six inch fascia, right? And then I can go in and, you know, do the same on the other structures, right? Now I'm keeping track of how, I'm sorry, I didn't click on the right one, on the uh, the standard setup. So set that for a six inch, okay? Now I know how much six inch fascia I have. And that's additive as I go across. So if I do the same command again, right? I want to go back and run my fascia again, right? I can just go in and same thing. I can just go from here to here on the other side of the building, Right? And again, just change that to a six inch fascia. Right? And now you can see it's actually adding up for me my six inch fascia. Right? When I, I'm sorry, one of my mistypes had a question mark in. Uh, which one was that? Here it is, that one. I forgot to take out the uh, the question mark on it. My bad. Okay, there it is. Let me retype that. Take the question mark out. See? And then it puts it together. So you see, I've got two runs of it. it tells me how long each run is. And it even gives me my cumulative length. Okay, so we can go and we can tie all of those in. Same thing, we've got exterior windows that we can use in both the, uh, you know, the elevations, all right? So if I wanna go in and do, you know, sliding windows or storefront or double hung windows, I can just go in and start to say, look, I got a double hung there, I got a double hung here, I got a double hung here. I, I can add specific, you know, sizes, shapes, makes, models, and manufacturers, right? And get my takeoff done for that, okay? And I can even do that, like I said, if I'm doing it in the floor plan condition, using the same tools. All right, so if I'm going to count, you know, how many double hungs I have, you know, one here, one here, one here, and one over here, no problem. I can just count those up, give them the correct label, and I'm good to go. Hey, right, now, I'm also less than going to do is I'm going to go over here and show you. We've also got roofing kind of built in place. All right, so you see I've got just kind of a, a rough uh, roof plan. I'm just going to minimize this down just so you see a little bit better. Um, you see I've got a whole roofing section up in here. All right, so for example, right, basic structures like 4 on 12, 5 on 12 shingle. All right, so if I want to go in and I know that this section out here is a five on 12 roof, I can just go in and very quickly, just outline okay, my five on 12 pitch all the way up through here, just kind of outlining it. See, it hatches it in and it actually gives me 
okay, my five on 12 shingle roof. It's actually calculated as a, uh, a five on 12 shingle. Right? And if you check on it, you can actually go and check. See the pitch is already structured as a five on 12. So my areas and my pitch are already structured, okay? Already in place, right? I have flashing and ice guard, right? I can allow for flat roofing and roof insulation and ridge caps, right? So if I go in, for example, you know, on the insulation, right? And maybe I'm doing a, a flat roof and I need to put, uh, you know, some, I'm just gonna kind of rough it out here, uh, some insulation over there. Right? I can easily go in here and now I can add my depth of insulation. What is this? This is a three inch depth of you know insulation you know and maybe it's it's not an insulation type it's not in the schedule right i can call it you know uh acme rigid insulation right so i can just change the label right and there you go you can see right for the acme rigid insulation right i'd be all set and i have my numbers right oops sorry you click on it set that for my depth you know three inches and acme rigid my typing real bad not having fun today. <laughs> Acme rigid insulation. There we go. There we go. All right. And you see you get 280 cubic feet of insulation that you need. And it comes in hatched, predefined. And these will show up and be consistent on every job that you have. All right. So you can go in and you can add and take off all of these tools in just a matter of a few seconds. Okay. And it's all cumulative and additive. And then all of it can then just be exported out, right, directly out to CSV. So I'll jump over to the floor plan. We've got a few items. Right? And you can very easily go in and generate an Excel spreadsheet from these right? that will show you your summation very, very quickly in a very rough format. But you can see I've got all of my subjects, my labels, right? So I can sort by labels and structures, counts, areas, lengths, volumes, everything all totaled out and ready for me to go in and start applying pricing and costs and everything else that I need. Okay, so that's the idea of the Zentech Review Tools exterior set. Right? Now, if you're interested in the Zentech Review Tools exterior set, you can purchase those directly and only through uh, Zentech Consultants. Um, it's a one-time perpetual license, and you can uh, either access it and, and buy it down through our website, or you can contact us directly using the sales at zentechconsultants.net, or you can call. Right? Um, we do have other Zentech Review, review Tool sets available, which are you know these smaller uh, focused takeoff tools. Um, we have them for, you know, exteriors, a, a general structural set, which is just for like markup, very similar to what we just saw, interiors and site work. And uh, we also just recently re released our Zen Estimate Steel estimating tools, uh, which will also not, not only will it do full blown quantity takeoff for you, but it will also calculate uh, all of your structural steel weights and your uh, connection percentage weights. Right, on over 1,700 detailed structural takeoff items. So you can hit our website and get details on that as well. Right? Other than that, if you guys do have uh, any questions, any concerns, you can always reach out to me, training at zentechconsultants.net, or you can you know, call the number below to talk to our sales staff or email them at sales at zentechconsultants.net. Other than that, I want to thank you guys for spending the time today, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day.